So I recently got a Kindle and in this video I just wanted to share reasons why I got one, first impressions, and some of my favorite features on owning one for the past couple weeks. Hey everyone, it's Jerry, welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been a long time since I last posted, but I've been busy with work and other things, but we're here now and thanks for clicking on to this video. So let's get started. So the biggest reason why I decided to invest in a Kindle was to build the habit of reading more. So three big reasons on what I plan to get out of reading more is first of all, broadening my knowledge on various topics. I'm learning new interesting things. I also hope to improve my vocabulary which would also in turn hopefully make me a better writer, which would benefit me as a content creator on YouTube. On to the Kindle. I bought the latest release of the Kindle. I think this one came out in 2019 or 2020. This is the base model and I got in black. And I also got the official Kindle cover in this white light gray. And I really like how it looks and the aesthetic and also the size. This is definitely a big investment up front. Um, I believe the base model with the lowest gigs is around $90 and the case is I think around $25. But if you're an avid reader and you are looking to acquire new books, in the long run it can save you a lot of money and space. Ebooks on Kindle tend to be cheaper than their physical copies and you'll be saving a lot of space at home on your bookshelf if you don't like a lot of clutter. I will still once in a while buy physical copies of books if I found the book to be really good and if the cover looked nice. For example, these three books by Austin Kleon. Um, we have Steal Like an Artist, Show Your Work, and Keep Going. I highly recommend these. These are really nice, quick reads and they're meant for artists and creators and how to stay motivated through the creative process no matter how tough it gets. These books have been really good, read through them, and I actually read them a couple times. They stay on my bookshelf as they've really had a big impact on me. So let's move on to my favorite features of the Kindle after using it for the past few weeks. First is the highlighting and note taking feature. It's very simple, intuitive, and most importantly, does not disrupt my reading experience. I simply long press and hold down on a word, and from there, I can adjust the start and end ranges of the section that I want to highlight and after that it highlights it and then I also have an option to add a note. All my highlights and notes are stored in my library in a separate ebook called Clippings and there I can find the rest of my highlights and notes from various books. This is a lot better than taking quotes and notes down on a notebook while I'm reading. Another feature that I like about the Kindle is the dictionary lookup. There have been many times when I've been reading when I come across a word that I don't know or I've seen it and I just don't know what it means but I simply just hold down the word, long press, and after that a dictionary pop-up will come up with the definition. As I said before, some of my main reasons for reading more was to broaden my vocabulary, to improve my writing, so this feature has definitely helped that a lot. The last thing that I wanted to touch on is overall convenience. And I've already mentioned that the Kindle has saved me money and saved me space. First of all, this is super portable and this can easily fit into my front or back pocket. So if I'm ever out and about waiting in line or just lounging and taking a break somewhere, like maybe at the mall, I can simply just take out my Kindle and I have access to my whole library at the palm of my hands from my pocket. The next thing is the glare-free display. I've really enjoyed reading on the Kindle and it's been so much easier on my eyes compared to if I'm reading on my phone or iPad. Um, those have like blue light. I haven't gotten any eye strain or my eyes haven't dried out as much when reading the Kindle. The last thing I want to mention was the built-in front light. With the Kindle, I can go in my settings and adjust the brightness. And this has been really nice as before bed, I like to read uh, with the lights out and it's been um, really easy reading and still with front light, it's still easy on my eyes. So I do like that feature. Those are all my thoughts on having a Kindle for the past few weeks. Um, so far I've been liking it and I look forward to using it more and acquiring new books. If you're curious on the books I've been reading 
recently. I'm in the middle of the Pragmatic Programmer. If you don't know, I'm, I am a software engineer. By reading this book, I hope to be better at my job and maybe gain some new insights and way of thinking. I've also been reading The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It's been really good. Uh, just an overall productivity self-help book been really enjoying it, learning a lot of new things. And lastly, for fiction, I've actually recently started reading Dune um, with a couple of my friends. We've been meeting like once or twice a week, talking about the book, um, and we're gonna finish it before the movie comes out. So pretty excited about that. So enough rambling by me and the books I'm reading, but hope this video helped you, especially if you were on the fence of buying a Kindle. And if it did, um, leave a like comment and subscribe to support the channel. I'm Jerry and I'll see you next time.